Hey booktube, Noah, welcome to my channel, everyone who reads it must converse, um, here we love books, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that you do too, because today I'm talking about one that I especially love, um, I just did a book review on Blake Crouch, Dark Matter, which is just a great story, and I'm doing another great story today. This is a, a little my take on Neil Gaiman, American Gods. This is an awesome edition. I believe it's either Harper, Perennial, um, Harper Collins, or, 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 or Barnes and Noble. I was looking at it, and I, uh, I, lo I, love, I love it. It's awesome. So, this book is very special. I, I, can, I can talk a lot about this book without giving it away. That's the, probably my favorite thing about it. The end pages. It's just superbly done. The end, the, the edges here are, uh, are this silver gilding. It, when you look at it straight on, I don't know if you're going to get that, but it's just a mirror effect. And if you, if you look at it a little bit, you know, as you, you don't see anything. But it's, uh, it's beautiful. So, Neil Gaiman wrote this book in 2001. This was, I, I believe, kind of inspired by a Terry Pratchett book called Small Gods. So, the, 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 the setting, and I'll just and I'll just give it give it to you. You know, I, like I said, I can talk a lot about this book without giving it away. It's it's a very awesome thing. And now, stars, I believe stars is the channel that is doing a series on American Gods. I haven't seen any of it. Um, I'm not the type to watch TV at all, but um, I will watch stuff if I can get a complete story. So I'm not gonna watch American Gods even the first episode or something like that until I can watch and get the whole story. And if they stop, you know, for some reason they don't do the complete story, then I won't watch it at all. I'm just not interested. So, this book starts off, you meet a human being named Shadow. And he, Shadow is, is, is this kind of rough kind of a drifter guy. He he has a, a woman that that uh, that he's in love with. And he's you meet him and he's just getting out of prison. He had been in prison for a length of time. Um he knew it was going he was going to get out 3 years in prison. And uh he's 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 really, you know, want wanting to get out and and kind of fly straight, I guess, but he he you know not not really any plans, except for to get back to his woman, and uh, and and he's picked up, and he meets right off the bat, um, a guy that that picks him up from the prison named Wednesday. Wednesday um, informs him that his wife that his his woman is dead, and uh, then then Shadow has no direction. Shadow is, uh, it, you know, does, doesn't have any plan. Just out of prison. So Wednesday offers him a job. He says, you know, I got, I got a job for you. I want you to be my personal, uh, personal assistant. Uh, you're just, you're just going to accompany me. And he starts, you know, taking him on this kind of, of cross country, you know, kind of trip. Just going different places and meeting different characters, and you start understanding, and 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 it's told, in 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 kind of an explicit way, but you don't really know what is going on at the beginning. That Wednesday, and the other beings that uh, Wednesday takes Shadow to meet are not human beings. Essentially, they look human, they act human, um, in ways, but they are gods. They are old gods, gods from other cultures, gods from 
um, other time periods, and 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 you meet all kinds of um, gods like uh, like well Wednesday is Odin, like the 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 father god of the uh, of of the Norse mythology, Odin, and he refers to Loki in in speaking. Uh, you meet you meet Egyptian gods. You meet um, Celtic gods, and these and these kind of gods are are, are surprisingly <laughs> like us. You get an idea of like this Greek mythology, you know, where the gods are <laughs> very powerful in 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 their ways. They they have power, but essentially they are jealous and petty and you know <laughs> do do you know conniving and scheming and back underhanded and it's just it's just a riot you know so what is what is Wednesday up to or, you know Shadow doesn't know he's 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 on he's on a need to know basis with what his uh what his job is and what is what he's really planning to what what Wednesday wants of him and and the, and there's the you know the whole story so in a little while you know Shadow has been has been going with Wednesday and meeting these uh, these old gods, and he's in a hotel room one night and watching the t the telly, and I, th I believe it's I Love Lucy is on, and Lucy turns right to Shadow to towards the screen, and looks out through the screen, and starts addressing Shadow, and there's a new god, one of the new gods who, who is Media. All forms of media. So Lucy, you know, exposes herself and addresses Shadow directly. And Shadow is kind of freaked out, of course. And uh, and, and a little bit later on, uh, like a limo pulls up next to Shadow as he's like walking. He's walking, you know, just maybe to the to the corner store or something. And 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 a window rolls down and it's this, you know, kind of geeky uh, nerdy kid in there says, you know, get it, Shadow, we know, we know, we know who you are, I got an offer you can't refuse, and he gets in, get in, get in the limo, and he gets in, and this is a god, a new god, of tech, technology, and, and, and the, the god, the new god of tech plays a, a little bit of a bigger role than media, but, says, you know, what is, what are you up to? What is going on? What, do, what is, what is Wednesday up to? Wednesday is Odin. What is Odin up to? Don't, you know, when, Shadow doesn't know any more than, uh, than, than, than Techie knows. And so, we're, you know, just, just going through this, uh, this story. And you meet Mr. World. And Mr. World Seems like he may be a new god. Mr. World is a god that um, has has a whole, you know, uh, bureaucracy of people underneath him. And their names like Street and, uh, <laughs> you know, just, just, just all this, you know, nouns <laughs> are their names. And it is um, kind of like a you get a sense of like a god of bureaucracy or something like this and uh but that god uh has 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 some correspondence with odin and so this this kind of thing builds it's a wonderful story um i haven't said anything about the actual plot of the story yet i'm talking about the scene the setting and the characters a little bit. And that's that's the beauty of this because the actual plot of this story is uh is a, is amazing. It is something that you know is going to be the greatest your first time through it. Once you know the story, you know it's never going to be the same again because you 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 know it. You know what you know what the whole deal is and uh you know it's a, it's a, it's an amazing story
So, right when you think you're about to get somewhere, Shadow thinks he's about to get somewhere, Odin goes into a meeting with the gods. New gods and old gods are present. And he's, you know, in typical... You know, o Odin is, is kind of... This Odin that we meet is a... Is, is, is a charlatan and is, is a swindler and is somebody who is wily beyond anything else and just, you know, struggling to make it through, through, through swindling people, really. And, and, you know, you just follow this kind of thing and think, why? What's going on? And, you know, the gods, gods feed off of what? Belief. God's feed off of worship and belief. So, in this in this book, you know, we have we're meeting all these gods who, in in America, um, nobody believes them, nobody worships them, very few, if any. And so they're here; they've been brought here by people and essentially forgotten. And then they uh, they struggle because they, you know, don't want to die. Don't want to, don't want to die out, die out, whatever that may be. So Odin goes and, and has a meeting with these, with these, uh, with these other gods. And, and, and I believe it's media or tech. One of them get, gets shadow, a, uh, a video of this kind of thing and sees, um, Odin be murdered. Odin be shot and, and, and he's, and he's gone. You know, and and Shadow then is uh, put up by by uh, by other gods that are in league with Odin, that are on his you know kind of team of whatever he's planning. You know, um, he's put up in this small town, and he's there, and he's you know he he comes to see that this small town is is a lot of old gods. Now. That they're like old gods of America, Indians, American Indian gods, American Indian um, deities, uh, spirit animals, kind of things like that. And um, so th there's there's a lot of that brought into it then, and you get to to where you see what is what what is the gods that that uh, shadow resonates with is shadows through his ancestral past. And I think I'm just going to kind of leave it right there. Because by that point, um, you know, you're you're really at the at in the thick of it. And to say any more about the plot would be to give uh, essential things away. And the end is masterful. The end is so good. The story is so well told, and you will you will thank yourself always for your read of this book. I didn't read this edition. I read a paperback, and um, then got this edition when I saw it for for my bookshelf because it's one of my favorites. And I want to thank Rajathon Ramsey for requesting that I do my little take on this one. It was fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, you know, get into it. Let me know. If you've read American Gods, uh, let me know what you think. If you haven't, put it on your TBR, guys. And happy reading. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.